Hi everyone, let me just lower the camera down a little bit. Right. Now, I did say I'll come back and show you how to do some of the miniatures. And the first one we're going to make is the golf bag. So let me just make sure the camera's right, hopefully. You're going to need some cardstock. I just use this, it's recycled card, craft card. I do have a sheet of, uh, like a, a leather, very thin leather. And you can use either side, it doesn't matter. You need your glue gun. I've got some tartan ribbon here that was gifted to me and you know, it's there. Now and again I use it for either flowers or whatever, but we're going to cut a piece. It is wired, but you don't need the wire. So I'm just going to chop mine. Just chop a piece off. So we've got that. We're going to need some of these uh, skewers to make the golf clubs. I'm also going to show you how to make the hat stand, but I will come back and do that because I want them all individual videos. Um, and I have so far made... I'm just filming. All oh, right, you dropped one. Uh, also made some of these little uh, funny faces and that clay faces. We've got some uh, clay balls that I've made that can be used on a project, and I did them to use up the clay that was there. Some little clay eggs, and then I made the unicorn horn, but they can also be used as a wizard's wand in a miniature. Um, but you've seen me do those. There is a tutorial on those. I think. <laughs> I know I've got them. I've shown them from the wizard's kitchen. But um, gel pens, I'm going to use gold and maybe bronze. I don't know, one or the other. Copper, whatever you want to call it. And then for the hat stand, you're going to need some spools. Just to raise it so we've got different heights. And the chipboards for that. Because you cut that into a shape. But we'll do that after. Right now, we're just going to do this. So I'm going to cut the leather. I just want a strip of it. Uh, two strips. No, one might do actually. So I'm going to use my cutter. Hopefully it will work. I'm hoping I don't have to. Um... Now the measurements is completely up to you. I eyeball most of what I do. Seems to work, but uh... they're just a piece of leather for the top and a piece of leather for the bottom section. Right, so we've got that and then I'm going to move that up to there. And we'll do another. That's it. That's cut what I need. A piece for the top, piece for the bottom, slightly different in size. I've just scored it so I know what I'm cutting. Like that. This will probably do two golf uh, club bags. Or caddies, whatever you call them. So I'll just put that to one side. I'm using black leather, but uh, I did buy black and brown. Take the wire from the ribbon. Now that that's quite old ribbon, so and it's not very nice wire in this one, so I won't keep that. So I don't want anything that's going to rust somewhere. So there we go. That's for our bag. And then what we need to do is to cut the actual size of the bag. Now I would say. Um, let me do it in inches and I would say um, a three inch or would be two and a half. No, a three inch bag would be fine. A three inch, in, you know, height. Um, and that would be, so let me see this. If we did three inches, that would be seven and a half centimetres. So you just need to cut it roughly at that. I'm not measuring mine because, I, like I say, I eyeball a lot of what I do. Um, and I just think, well, you know, I'm going to go about that. That will be mine. There we go. So you cut your card to measure. Or not, if you're like me. And then you need to soften this. Now, what I do with mine, just the edge of the table, and I run it across the edge of the table like that. Just to soften it and break the fibres up. Plus, it helps it bend. And if you press your weight on it and pull it through your fingers, then it will... 
do the curve you want. Now, all I'm going to do is cut this. Let me just make sure I, what size golf. You don't want it any bigger than an inch. It would be too much if it's any bigger than an inch. So I'm just going to cut that like that. Hopefully, it's a, not quite straight, but we'll just straighten that off like that move that one out of the way so then what you do is you glue them together now you can glue them or stick them it doesn't matter don't overlap it too much i've done it about half a centimeter uh, and like i said i am just going to glue mine and you have to be quick when doing this make sure it all matches about the same like that so it's just to make a cylinder like that that's perfect fine and it is so easy to do this you then take your material now this is the seam at the back so keep your seam at the back okay not bothered about that edge it's going to be covered so what I do is I just glue down there stick that on and then roll that around okay and then what we're going to do is to cut that enough to turn in just turn it in and you can actually glue that in actually you know just a bit of glue down there turn that little piece in you've got a line to follow so you can keep that straight like that pop your glue on like that pull this fairly tight so you do have to have it tight ish okay and then roll that over like that and you can glue that in I, that was left from the last time so I don't bother about that so then what we do is we take the leather bits I'm going to do the um, top section first um, and I'm going to pop that on there now don't worry that it's slightly over it doesn't matter at all again go to the spine like that and I'm going to have the rough leather on the outside like that and just a little bit of glue and make sure that that is pushed in like that wrap that over and again I'm just going to trim this to the edge okay like that like I said don't worry about that bit you can cut that off or you can put something on to decorate it and I might just decorate it first so now we need uh, save all your leather bits because you never know when you need a small piece I'm going to then uh, put the second bit on which is the bottom section so we just do the same thing with that and this should fit any excess you can cut off Always remember to smooth it. So. Let's glue that. See, it's so simple and so easy to make. I mean, if you've got, um, you know, you can get these small rolls of um, twine and things like that, and they have a little cylinder in them they're perfectly big enough to make this so you don't have to make the cylinder just think outside the box um, and think what you can use i'll just cut that back like that pull that back and just pop a little bit of glue up the spine that's fine i'm not fussed that'll all peel off it just rubs off now what i'm going to do is just to trim that off I'm 
Now, what I did with Jewel is because I didn't like the um, toilet, uh, the toilet roll, the uh, card showing like that. So I just got a bit of brown paint, which I've got here. Uh, took a little brush. And just painted the inside like that. Just so you didn't see it when it was stood up. And it's as simple as that. You can go over the top and paint that bit. Like that. Go down as far as you want to in the tube. And then what we can do is do the same. Like I said, I'm not bothered about that at the moment. Now these you can put on your cards. If you're making a gents card, just make one of these. Glue in the sticks, of course. Um, you know, I wouldn't leave them so they come out in case they get lost. But glue them in to the bottom of the cylinder of the golf bag and then you can uh, glue it onto the card and that's you know fantastic make a golfy card for somebody that's fine yeah, a bit of a uh, thing off now what i've got i'm just going to get the bag because i left it um i've got some trims that I can use for this particular bag and I have got a dark brownish braid which you know you'd have something plain but I like the braid there we go uh, and so that's what I'm going to use cut seal use <laughs> that's all you do Again, going from the back, which is the spine. Because, you know, you can get female golfers, can't you? Of course you can. It doesn't have to be a tartan one either. She just wanted, Julie just wanted a tartan one. But you can make these out of different coloured leathers, material ones, have a shabby sheet bag. You know, come on, let's think outside the box. You don't have to do the norm. You know, I know there's videos out there of people telling you to do this, do that, because they were trained. You don't need to be trained to craft. Sorry, you don't. You craft from the heart and you do what you want. And uh, the way you want it. There is no set rule of what to do and how to do it. And it doesn't matter if you've been to university, college or anything. I haven't been anywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've not. I haven't been trained at all. And I know some people say, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I've not. I've taught, I'm self-taught in nearly everything I do. Um, and the only way I've learned is, to trial, is trial and error. And play. I love to play. Just pull that off. Comes off, it's only leather. Like that. Oops, sorry, didn't glue that down. You know what? I'm going to put some on the bottom section as well. Again, start at the spine, always start at the back. It just leaves, uh, you know, with, if it's going to be in a miniature room or something like that, it just leaves it looking nice. Okay. Now, I've left it over the lip a little bit because we're going to have to put a base in it. We'll just seal that off yeah and there's 
part of my golf bag. Now, I did say we might need something else. So I'm taking the smallest part that I had left and I'm just cutting that in, well, about half a centimetre strip. And then at the back where the spine is, on this section here, we just put... I know I didn't, it was inside, sorry. So I'm just putting a dob of glue inside and then sitting that like that. And this is going to be your handle. Okay, and then we glue the end of that and we glue that onto there. It would be normally a little bit bigger handle, but I'm just using what I've got at the moment just to show you. So you can put your bag handle down here. That wasn't long enough, but I'm not fussed about that at all. Now what I'm going to do is to pop in um, a disc. Um, now, what have I got that's small enough? Yeah, we can use that. I'm sure we can. So I'm going to take a piece of chipboard. Whoops, a daisy. Take a piece of chipboard. Mm, oops, stand still, stand still. Where's my pencil? It's not wide enough, I don't think. I'll cut it out of this one. Okay. <laughs> not very straight, is it? It can have a ledge, it doesn't matter, it's like having a base, isn't it? Because uh, it's not on wheels or anything like that, of course it's not. Yeah, I think we'll do that a little bit smaller. Well, we can cut that when it's on. So I'm going to just give that a lick of paint. Just going to paint the edges, because you're not going to see that. I'm going to see the middle bit, that'll be inside. And then we just paint the outside. In fact, I'm not going to paint that. Well, yeah, I could do. So I'm going to be cutting that. So here's where I burn my hands off. Be extremely careful. Yeah, and then I'll just soak that a minute, pop that up there. And then what I'm going to do is to glue the base of this. So that's why I left that hanging over. Whoops, it is it. Get on there. And I left that hanging over purposely. And then what you do is you take that and you sit that. on the disc, like that, and press down, like that, take any excess off, and then we just clip round it, I mean you could actually, um, if you've got a wooden piece, or even a thicker chipboard, is just to um wrap this around that wrap the card around it you know if you want to actually i'm going to paint over that i like that i just did that and like the color it made because you can paint over anything but like i was saying there is no set way to do arts and crafts it doesn't matter if you go to college and all that I um what says they're doing it or who said they're doing it right way because they you know some teacher professor whatever has said oh we do this and we do that this is how it's done no you can do it however you want to do it you can use whatever you want to use the best way to craft is to experiment to be honest and come up with your own ideas 
That's all that was in the past. Somebody came up with an idea and said, oh, we do it this way. And then they talk that way. And it's like, I teach this way with the way I'm doing things, but then you take it away and you think if you can come up with, some, you know, with something different or something easier, doesn't matter. Do you know what? I'm going to actually paint the leather. That's much better. I like the colour. Like a dark, rich brown. Yeah, I like that. The boys are barking. Yeah, I like that. That's come out really nice. And I have to tell you, these are far better than the ones they had at the um, um, thingy me bob doll's house. I've been to one before and I've seen them. Well, I've actually seen these for sale. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do with mine, let me just put my uh, trim away for a minute. Um, I have some little sticker things. I like little emblems. Um, and I'm going to glue one of these onto the front. And all I need to do with them, the little metal emblems, they were given to me a long while ago by an ex-friend. Let's put it that way. So, there's a bit of glue. Hang on, that's Raymondo. He'll have to hang on and just put that on. Excuse me. Right, so I've got that little emblem on. Sorry about that, that was Raymondo. He's gone to post another lot of parcels out. Like I say, I'm not fussed about that. It was um, glue on the tape. I will scrape that off with a knife. But there's a little emblem on, so it, it looks great on the bag. So what we're going to do now is to make the sticks. Now, I've got the skewers. And of course we need the right size. Um, you need to do them at least an inch taller than this caddy. So I'm going to cut mine at that. Do two or three um, of various sizes. We're going to do four, aren't we? So I'm just going to measure these out. I'm going to do one, two the same. Um, and then I'm going to do one slightly bigger. And then one slightly smaller. Like that. Just move the caddy out of the way. So I'll just show you the caddy. Very quick, very simple to make. Okay. Give these bits. Move them to one side. Now again, we need the paintbrush and the paint. And what I'm going to do, just give them a quick coat of paint. Dry them off a minute. Turn them over and we just do the other end.
There we go. Just pop the paint back on there. Just dry these off. Now this is the most dangerous part <laughs> and it can be dangerous, you do have to be extremely careful but um, you're going to now split it because you now need to put the club into there um, and so what I do is I've got full control of the knife, my thumbs, uh, my hands and the stick and you get that right in the middle if you can, Just gently rock it so do not let children do this, okay and we just you know, see that's took that off. Doesn't matter. This is where you've got to be extremely careful. Let's get this right. No, it's taking that off. Wait a minute. This is. I might have to do it on the deck like that. Actually, you just no. It's taking that off. So I'm going to cut that again. Uh, it does take practice. It's not easy. This is the hardest part of the making them. Right, I'm going to definitely do it that way, like I've always done it. There, I've split that. So that's one done, and we do have to do them all. There we go, that's it, split that one. So it's going. See, that's not split properly, but it doesn't matter. That's still safe because we do. What you do, we need a bit of thread, and we. Um, you'll see what I do there. We split that one. Put your knife away. You do need some strong thread because I don't just glue them on. I I put mine on properly. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Cut the threads. One, two, three, four. Now I know what else I needed. Just let me get the other bit that I need. <coughs> there we are. I've got some silver um, Adirondack mixative. And you'll see why in a minute. Now we take a bit of chipboard. And we need to make the clubs. So I've got my, not quite a square. Um, round one end off, like that. Then round the other end off. Turn it over and round that in like a club foot. Like that, and then all you do is cut down there, and you've got a club. But of course, this is too big for that, so we do need to cut that more like that. And you can shape this as much as you like, and you just cut yourself out a little club foot, so you like that. Just move those out of the way. And then what we do is open the split like that and we pop that in. See like that. So we've made a little club. But then you take your thread and you wrap it round extremely tightly. This is just for safety. Where's it gone? There we are. This is not to be played with, so it doesn't matter. You don't need to glue it in. And then trim off all of that. Take the liquid fixative. And 
let me just take that down as much as possible take the liquid and colour that in You can lay that on pretty thick and that will give it a really good coat. Oh my god. And there you go, you've got your first club. Um, and then what I did with mine, I took we're just going to stand that in there to dry. Um, I'll make the other ones up first and then I'll show you about putting the emblem on. Because we do have the ends to put on as well. So this was the one that was slightly went wrong. So we're just going to cut another club. I mean these don't have to be perfect. They're just decorations basically. Okay, so I'm going to take this one down from there. Spin that one around. Like that. Pop the end in on that one. Take my thread again. Give it a double knot. Like that. There we go. Bend that into position. Colour that. And there's another one. I mean, you can use tape. You don't have to use this. If it's easier for you to use tape, then use tape. Uh, but I like to do it this way because I know it holds them in perfectly. Um, do some more. Let's do another one. leave it like that can be any shape you want them to be again split the wood again like that get that in push that right down that's it oops
There we go. And there's another one done. Just pop that one in there. And we'll just do the last one. I need another little bit of card. Like that. Open this one. I hope you've been able to see this because I've not been checking. Sorry. Push that right in there. Now you can always trim that off if it's been too much. That's better. Take my thread and of course wrap it round. Too fiddly for me. Don't know why I do these. <laughs> Chunky fingers. If you've never tried a miniature, don't sit there and go, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't. How do you know unless you try? How do you know unless you, you know, give it a go? You don't know, but go for it. We've got lots of lovely stories of people that have never done a miniature before, started doing them. Oh, my God, they're earning money from them. So go for it. Come on. Try anything once. If you don't like it, fine. Not, not, not everybody does. But it's actually for your shadow boxes so much nicer to know that what you've put in them, you've made. You know, and, and you've actually learnt to do something other than make a card. There's nothing wrong with being a card maker, I'm not saying that. But, you know, look at these sort of things can go on your cards. So it is handy to learn. Something new. You know, all those uh, embellishments that you put on your cards that you buy, somebody's had to sit like me and make them. So you do it. I will never, ever take no for an answer. Anybody who knows me, at least have a go. At least try. These are step-by-step -step instructions. How hard? How hard are they? They're not bit fiddly maybe that's all right I'm just gonna take this one and uh, I'm just gonna rub a little bit of this onto them like that just to make it like a silvery they're not for this. They're for this. I'm so stupid sometimes. That is for the walking sticks that I'm going to show you. <sighs> these are, are these for the golf clubs. You can use them for the golf clubs. It doesn't matter. You just pop them on if you want somebody's name or initial on your golf club. In fact, no, I'm not going to bother. We'll just use those for the walking sticks. But um, there you go. You know. Great. Oops, a daisy. Nice set of golf clubs. Let's do that with you.
And there we go. Um, and that's how you do it. Oh, look, I've got that all over now. Oh, got a, a silver strap now instead of a leather one. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It can be changed. But there you go. That's how you do them. So I hope that's helpful. Nice little thing to stick on a card with a load of golf sticks in. And, um, you know, let hubby know you made them. Didn't buy that in a shop. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll be back shortly. Bye-bye for now.